morning everyone. I'm so highly. Yes, it's still the same spot around my house. And right now it's around 10.15 and you can if you notice the abbot calls but it's less compared to the early morning which is very good also for the birding. And well, besides bird calls, we can share other calls too, for example like made by primates. And of course the most famous primate here, the orangutan. And orangutan they only have a few calls since they are a solitary ape, so they're not that they're non social apes. So one of the most common calls you will hear if you encounter wild orangutan will be the squeezing sound or kissing sound. Sounds nice, kissing sound, but actually I'm warning you. That's what it's meant for. So if you have the chance to travel here, please, if you saw wild orangutan, do not do this call because you're telling them, I'm warning you, and they will hide themselves. And, well, if they're really angry, they'll make a sound with bubbling. <coughs> and they will break a branch, you like throwing at you, but they are not good aimers. Because the idea is not to injure you by throwing the branches. The idea is to show they're tough, to impress female, to scare the others from the sounds of the breaking of the branches. And next, we have this, the um, crying. Well, it's commonly made by the juvenile if they need help from their moms. They are, when they are reach four or five years old, mom intentionally move ahead, um, abandon the juvenile. The idea is to check if the juvenile can follow mama. But there are two reasons why juvenile cannot follow mom. One, the arm plank is not yet fully stretched to grab another branch from the other tree. Number two, the body weight is not enough to bend a tree, to go to the other side of the tree, to the other tree. Yeah. So what they do, they need help and they will make a crying sounds like. <coughs> then moms will come, but instead of taking the young one, make the branches go closer so the juvenile can move by itself and one of the uncommon call and it's mysterious call and you might don't hear it a lot it's called the long call and this long call it's only made by the flange male orangutan not the adult male not the female only the flange male so if the flange male on top of us if you're underneath the tree before he do the actual long call you will hear the three weird sounds first <coughs> And then the actual long call. It's so loud, can be heard almost two or two, three kilometers. Um, what it's meant for? Well, it's just to tell the female I'm here because female intend to mating with the French male around town to have a healthy and stronger baby and to tell the other male this is my place. So, I hope you enjoy this call and hopefully in the future you will have experience to visit our place. For now, stay safe, stay at home, travel later. Thank you.